So here we have the Ford Transit Custom on a 19 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of it and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. From the outside though you can see it has alloy wheels. We've got those uh, side sliding doors. This vehicle's got six seats. Uh, what we'll do is start off inside uh, the rear door area and then work our way around the rest of the van from there. So as we approach the back of the van, you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of space in the rear. It's all ply lined as well, and we have that full metal bulkhead, as you can see. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back round to the front of the van, and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way round. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, so now they're inside the van, we're gonna start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, and on the right-hand side, the speedometer. In the middle, you can see the fuel gauge and cool and temperature gauge, and then the trip computer above that. So at the moment, we have displayed a digital readout for the speedometer, but you can change the information that's displayed there using buttons on the steering wheel for various different bits of trip computer information. And those buttons are just here, along with phone controls, including voice activation for your phone. On the left-hand side, we have both cruise control and speed limiter, and further stereo controls along the bottom just there. The stereo itself is touchscreen. So over in the centre here, you'll be able to see that all the different ways you can listen to music. So AM, FM, and DAB radio. You can also stream your music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio as well. And there's a USB input, uh, so you can plug a device into that and you'll have an extra box appear up here. And that USB input can be found just here, along with a 12-volt charging socket. If we go back to the home screen, this is where you pair your phone in the vehicle. Search for your vehicle on your device and select it once it is found. And just follow the instructions on screen, it's very easy to do. Below that we have the main volume for the stereo. We then have the air conditioning. So you can adjust the fan speed, the temperature, the direction you'd like the air to be distributed in. The air conditioning is on when that light shows, so off, or back on again. You can uh, shut off the vents to the outside and recirculate the air that's in the vehicle and that's a great way of heating it up or cooling it down quickly depending on the temperature you've set here. We've also got heated driver and passenger seats, both with three different heat settings each and we have a proper heated front screen as well. We have a second 12 volt charging socket and second USB input just there and then a six speed manual gearbox. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the van in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.